I just wanted him to get back up. He's not breathing. As 18-year-old Ronald Rouse lay on the sidelines and doctors performed CPR and used a defibrillator to try and revive him, the Hartsville versus Crestwood game continued. But the crowd's attention wasn't on the field. It was on Ronald, the four doctors and two certified athletic trainers struggling to save his life, and the fact there was no ambulance at the stadium. Yeah. An ambulance arrived nearly 15 minutes after the first sign of trouble and quickly took Rouse to the Carolina Pines Hospital where he was pronounced dead a short time later. He never let nobody bring him down or nothing. I mean, he was always smiling and if he could give his last, last dollar to somebody, I mean, he would. As the sun rose in Hartsville Saturday, the questions for those who saw the events remained the same. It, it was really a concern that why did it take so long for the ambulance to get there? That's when I have a little doubt in my mind. Like, where's the ambulance? According to Darlington County School District spokesperson Audrey Childers, they are not required by state law or the South Carolina High School League to have an ambulance at football games. But she did say the district has an agreement with the Lake Robinson Rescue Squad to be at all of the Hartsville home games. But Friday night, the rescue squad was not there. A rescue squad director would not comment to why an ambulance was not on the scene and said the agency is seeking legal counsel. And that doesn't sit well with some of the Red Fox faithful. Besides the ambulance being there on scene, I don't think there was much more that could have been done. He was in good hands on the field while he was there.